What is up? Got another house project going on in Bloomfield. We just closed on it this morning. Um, got a little bit going on on the inside, uh, demo-wise, but I'll show you that in a second. First of all, we are, this is gonna be a rental property, a rental property for sure, for sure, for sure, a rental property. Um, we are calling the house, we're naming it, Little House on Prairie. What do you think? Is that an awesome name or what? They call me Nick Clever Rowe. It is a small one bed, one bath office building right now. And the only reason it's an office building is because the bathroom does not have a shower. But we're gonna change that. We're actually going to um, extend this wall out right here put a shower in where it has concrete floors underneath here so um, we're gonna have to dig down under the concrete chop it up jackhammer it up Judy chop it up whatever it takes uh, over here is gonna be the kitchen which is just kind of open a little open cove or whatever the bedroom has no closet so we're gonna build a closet out here it's just gonna be an opening Somewhere in here. Blah. Today is day two of working on the little house on Prairie. It's a great name. Got Dave taking out the wall and right here we already started on laying out the kitchen which will be this entire wall here uh, let me turn the camera around okay so there's the bathroom we're extending this way and here is the kitchen it's a super simple layout but let me explain so we're gonna have an 18 inch countertop here we're gonna have a 36 inch sink base here then a 24 drawer or something on the bottom here 30 inch stove then the rest will be countertop space which is a pretty good uh, size kitchen for a seven, 696 square foot home. Now on this side, uh, we're actually building a wall out this way, about right here, about two foot deep, because there's no closet in the bedroom. So when you walk in the bedroom, don't judge me, it's our sheetrock storage right now. Uh, there's gonna be a big opening right here. Boop. And that's going to be the closet, double rack closet. Um, but we're going to stop at about three foot, about right here. And the reason we're stopping it is because, Nick, where's the fridge going in the kitchen? Because the fridge will sit right here. So the wall is about 36 inches, so we can get the biggest fridge uh, on the market. Well, residential fridge. Uh, then the rest will be open for closet space. So that's easy. Um, also, this wall right here is going to be opened up about 34 inches, and then the shower will sit right here just to make for an easy little uh, bathroom, laundry room. We're back for what is probably and hopefully the last day of demo. Here's the concrete we had to cut out to put a sewer line in. The Shower is going to go somewhere right here. Sink's going to go right here. This will be a row of cabinets, stove, sink, refrigerator on this side. We have to build the closet out. Yeah, there it is. It's a dust. Look at this. Let's see if we can tell. Look at that. It's dusty. All right, back to loading sheetrock. Okay, so one more update. We just finished building the bathroom. Let me turn the camera around again. There's the front door, and there's the bathroom that we just built. Um, originally, the wall came to right here, and the door was right here to get into the bathroom. There was a vanity toilet. Well, we knocked down the wall, dropped it back, uh, we still have a couple more studs to put in, but there's the door opening, and there is the bathroom. 
the shower stall will fit right there it's perfect we had to cut the concrete out to get the uh, sewer lines ran and water lines ran to the kitchen sink which is going to be over there and tomorrow is plumbing so i'm sitting here editing the video uh, that you just watched and i just realized that i have no ending i just talk about showers and cut concrete and i i walk away so this is me saying um subscribe to my channel because i am probably the world's best youtuber except for like mr beast or someone like that but it's debatable <laughs>